this COVID virus, which is horrible for everybody, is disproportionately horrible for people with any kind of disability. And that's why advocates are calling for the government to prioritize the roughly 2.6 million Ontarians living with disabilities as it makes preparations to battle COVID-19. David Lepofsky says a letter was sent to the Premier and several ministries on behalf of the Accessibility for Ontarians with Disabilities Alliance. It outlines concerns, including ensuring those with accessibility issues don't have to deal with the same barriers they face in the current health system. We need them to make sure that the new facilities they're rushing to create are accessible to patients with disabilities. With online education starting up on Monday, another worry is how students with different abilities will be supported. It's commendable that the government has announced that they they want to ensure that schools and school boards and colleges and universities are providing distance learning opportunities, but we need them to include strategies for the hundreds of thousands of students with disabilities, many of whom can't, are going to face barriers in getting access to that distance learning. Education Minister Stephen Lecce was on breakfast television this morning. He says the province is signaling to all school boards to get frontline special needs educators and mental health professionals mobilized to help those students in need. We're also doing professional development for the educators and for the and some guidance. Um, and support for the parents to enable them to do the best they can in this very tough pandemic reality. But Lepofsky says the government needs to consult the community that's being directly impacted. We're offering to help. And there are lots within the disability community, both individuals and organizations that are eager to come forward with their ideas, to share with the government what their barriers are. The government could organize a Zoom meeting, you know, Monday. They could have it up and running in no time uh, to hear from people. In the meantime, the Accessibility Alliance is holding a virtual forum of its own to discuss some of the challenges that those with disabilities face during this crisis. It's going to be held in partnership with the Ontario Autism Coalition. It starts Tuesday morning at 10 a.m. A link can be found on our website, citynews.ca. Tammy Sutherland, City News.